What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are taking a look at a couple of alternatives to the latest epic players that have released. So I've already done a review on Zico, Kaka and Roberto Carlos. I think this possibly could be one of the best packs that they've released as a trio. You've got Carlos who I think is the best left back in the game. Maybe one or two compete with him. But then you've got Kaka, who is, it looks to be one of the most unique players. There's very few players that stack up compared to Kaka for the blend of skills, player skills, style, everything. The only thing letting him down is his unwavering form. But we have done the review on the three of those players, so make sure and check them out. In this video, we are going to be going over to eFootballDB, and we're going to be giving you a couple of alternatives that you can buy, standard players that you can buy with GP. Before we start, we are going to pop one open. We've already signed... Uh, one other player in this um, But yeah, we didn't get anybody And Oh, hold on Hold on English League No, what am I thinking? Okay, so we've got a we've, I couldn't hear the sound there Oh, he's not a bad player actually That's, that's a waste of 100 coins though But anyway, we have opened two packs of that I mean, I would love Kaka But if you do not have any coins And you're not going to spin any coins um, and you're not gonna you know you want to stay free to play there are a couple of alternative players that you can actually buy that stack up quite well you're not going to get a direct replacement for these i think carlos is probably the easiest one to replace um as a gp alternative but still at that you're going to have a couple of concessions that you need to make because you're just not going to replace these players it's like you know there's probably about five or six legends that are just you know like so unique beckenbauer Vieira um you know davids kaka and roberto carlos i think are added to that now as well but we are going to try our best so we are going to start off with looking at zico maxed out so he goes to a 98 overall he's got 90 in ball control tight possession acceleration and balance with 89 in defensive awareness 88 place kicking or free kick set piece um 89 low pass like absolutely ridiculous now if we are looking for uh if we are looking for gp alternatives you could do worse than Foden, right? Foden is going to put you back about 260,000. I think he is a really, really good player. He does stack up quite well to Zico, not just in skills and stats, but also in stature and how he controls as well. I've actually played a good bit with Foden's standard card, uh, or maybe it was, the, I think it's the English pack card on my other, uh, my other profile, so on my Xbox profile um but for this one i think look if you are going to be spinning for two hundred and sixty thousand gp it is quite a lot of money but look how he stacks up right look how he stacks up so you've got the ball control dribbling and tight possession all really good obviously you're not going to have the the low pass as high it is only at an 80 but you've got balance and acceleration really high as well so comparing him to zico there it's very similar you know zico is 82 speed um and 84 kicking power uh, Foden has 81 speed and 81 kick and power. The offensive awareness is very kind of close as well. Obviously, there's four marks there in the difference. Um, ball control, 90, 91, and 90. You've got 92, 91, and 90. Obviously, the low pass is going to be a big discrepancy and the free kicks. But I wouldn't worry too much about the free kicks or the finishing with this card. I think this is a really, really good card that matches up if you are staying free to play. The second alternative we have then is Pedri. I think a top 10 player in the game. I'm actually going to get Pedri back into my squad for a new series we're going to be kicking off with Dream Team Chronicles. Um, apart from the offensive awareness and the speed, this card, I think, is probably going to be even better than Foden, depending on your play style. If you are a slower-paced player and you don't play quick counter, and you don't play kind of the meta stuff, uh, then Pedri is the man for you. I think he's a slightly more defensive. Obviously, Foden is just going to be like a winger that you can play AMF. Pedri is going to have that little bit of uh, defensive engagement that might help his positioning. And Pedri plays way above his stats, lads. Trust me, I've played so many games with Pedri. He's practically won me games, won me promotion um, along the route as we've gotten up through eFootball League. But just look at the stats, man. Forget about the finishing, right? And forget about the offensive awareness and the speed. Not forget about it, but like, you know, you don't really need to worry too much about that uh, in terms of if you are going to be um you know shooting a lot of shots with zico then you know you are going to have that 80 finishing but to be honest with you with pedri you're just going to be making him the art your orchestrator you know your creative playmaker such as his playing style is ball control dribbling tight possession low pass balance and acceleration are all very similar to zico um and it's a, it's a very similar card foden also has standard form but pedri has uh unwavering form so that's something to 
uh, keep in mind as well. Moving on to Roberto Carlos, right? Carlos is obviously an absolute beast as well. Um, there is a lot of players that we could we could put in instead of uh, Carlos, even though we're not going to get somebody with the same kind of matched up as him. Like there's just, there's just no way because Carlos is too unique. You know, you've got the free kick ability, you've got the power, you've got the stamina, you've got ninety eight kick and power, which is insane. And then, of course, you've got the lovely split of offensive awareness and defensive awareness. Now, you'll notice, right, that Carlos's uh, offensive awareness is higher than his defensive awareness, even though we've pumped eight into his defendant, right? So for this, okay, this is going to mean that you're going to have to play very manual with Carlos. It's the one downfall of him. If you aren't a good defender, you are going to struggle with Carlos defensively, definitely, because he leaves a lot of gaps getting forward, right, compared to other left backs or right backs. But if we are looking for alternatives, right, there's a really good option, Mendy, who's 76,000, and he plays for Real Madrid, obviously. And with, with Mendy, you've got a very similar player, 76,000. Uh, he's got standard form, which is a bit of a pity, but other than that, he is a very cheap option. Now, he's more defensive, I would say, slightly. Um, if you look here, he's slightly more defensive when we max him out. We're going to up that defending only by two because we don't really need our left back to be defensive, to be honest with you. If we are playing a five at the back or a three at the back, we're going to be pushing Mendy up a little bit more advanced. And you can manually defend as well. You know, it's not a big deal Um, if you play anchoring on or you play sub tactics on or whatever, you know, play style. You have set up individual instructions or anything like that. But dribbling stacks up fairly well. Um, His passing stacks up OK. But it's really the speed, the acceleration, and the stamina is where this card tracks up. Now, basically, lads, look, he's 76,000. You're not going to be getting Carlos for 76,000. Now, if you want somebody more in line, you're going to have to go double with that. And I think Jordi Alba is probably the best option. Obviously, you can have Cancelo as well. Cancelo is probably the better option. But um, Cancelo is more suited, I think, to a right back. So, strictly speaking, you know, keeping this as a budget, like kind of under 200,000, unless it's an exception uh to the rule which we'll see in a second um i think Jordi alba is an exceptional card as well like with carlos right the biggest thing with carlos is his mixture of dribbling lofted passing and then obviously the speed and the stamina and the acceleration like kicking power is is nice but you don't really need it but Jordi alba kind of stacks up very very well you know you've got the offensive awareness you've got the dribbling you've got the passing You've also got the stamina and the speed and 88 acceleration. So if you are looking and you don't get Carlos, definitely try out Jordi Alba. He also has unwavering form. And then last but not least, we have Kaká. Now, Kaká is probably the hardest player to replicate. He's kind of like Patrick Vieira. There's a lot of unique um, mixture of stats going on here as well as the player skills. And look, there is no real comparison to Kaká or Kaká. I don't know why I keep calling him that. But Kaka is like a really unique player, lads. You'll see here, right? 91 dribbling, 92 speed, and 97 acceleration. Um, this is prime Kaka, lads. This is prime Kaka when he was absolutely ripping it up for Brazil and for AC Milan. Now, this legend version of him here, compared to this one, obviously the levels are way different, but there's slightly different um, factors here to the acceleration and stuff. This is actually one of the fastest AMFs in the game, if not the fastest, because you're going to max out at 97 acceleration. And that's the best way of training him up. Trust me, that is the best way of training him up. Now, I've already done a review on him, but if you are looking for alternatives, here's a very cheap one, 82,000. You're going to have the same issues, right? If you do, um, you know, match the acceleration and the balance and the speed, you're not going to get it exactly like Kaka's, but you are going to have to have a little discrepancy with the finishing or the dribbling or whatever. But this guy stacks up really, really well for under 100,000. Uh, he's got a lot of the same player skills, um, plays very similar to him. He's obviously a lot shorter than Kaka. Kaka is like 1A5. So if we want to have somebody more in line with that. But this guy's Shining Stars version, obviously he's not, um, he's not you know, with GP, is even, is even better. Because you've got 26 levels compared to 28. And you've got two more into, you've got one more into acceleration. So if we were to max him out, you'd even get a better card. Now, this isn't a standard GP one, um, but it is a card that you could get with the nominating contract, with the Shining Stars, I should say, if you if you wanted to get that, if you have been lucky enough to get that, um, or if you have got that in the, in you know, before. And this card stacks up really, really well as well. If you take a couple of concessions with it, obviously you're not going to get it exactly right. 
but that's a very decent 92 overall attacking midfielder. Now, if you are looking for somebody more in line with Kaka in terms of the passing, um, but not as fast, obviously his acceleration is going to be nowhere near Kaka's. Uh, Mason Mount is quite decent. His actual England card is, is very decent as well. He's a little bit quicker. Um, there's a couple of different versions of him that have released over the years or over the months. Um, but yeah, this one isn't too bad. Obviously, you've got player of the week as well. He stacks up quite well as well. But I genuinely think that this one with 84 st uh, acceleration, 90 stamina, it's kind of a unique enough card as well if you're looking for something different. So yeah, Kak is a very tough one, but that is if you are staying free to play lads with free GP. Let me know what you guys think. Any recommendations as well in case I miss somebody? Let me know. Until next time. Peace.